Hi, this is James from the Hornbill Technical Support Team and this is a short tutorial to show you how to configure SSL or HTTPS for SupportWorks. Um, so there's a couple of different areas that we need to set this up in and you need to bear in mind that it's not only the likes of your self-service portals, web client, etc. that actually use SSL or HTTPS. Um, you'll have certain pages within SupportWorks client itself as well, which will need it as well. So, uh, the first place I'm going to take you to is the SupportWorks server configuration. Uh, this setup will apply to all versions of SupportWorks, um, so um, you don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to go to the Communications tab, and you can see here I'm going to tick the box that says Use SSL Encryption for Active Web Pages. So I'm going to apply this and click OK. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to do is go to a particular file on the back end within, this, within your SupportWorks drive, core services, HTTP server, conf, then you've got the httpd.conf file. So I'm just going to open this up in Notepad. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to search for in here is listen. There we go. So this section here, you can see these are the ports that the Apache um, HTTP is actually listening for. You can see it's listening on port 80 and on 443, which is the SSL port. So um, now we know that that's available. If it has a, has a hashtag next to it, then obviously just take that out. Um, just to make sure that's available there. You can also hash out uh, the listen 80 as well if you purely want to uh, connect through port 443 um, but um, it's okay to have both of them available. Um, okay so the next thing I'm going to look at is these modules. There's a couple of modules in here which we need to make sure that are um, available. Uh, one is this particular one here which is load module SSL underscore module. Again just make sure there's no hash mark next to them and also deflate module here again out of the box it's uh, not hashed out but if yours does then take it out. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is just go down to the virtual host it's a little bit further down a bit further and we're there. So you can see this section here for the virtual host for 443. This is where you can actually define your SSL uh, certificate. Um, so it will give you the actual document route where it's trying to look for your particular certificate. So I'm just going to take you to there um, since we're there. In fact, we're there already. Um, so within the HTTP server, you've got HT docs, and this is where it's getting all this information from within HTTP server and uh, conf again you've got this CRT, this is where the certificate is held so HTTP server conf, you've got the two usually the certificates come with two particular files, a .key file and a .crt so uh, if you have these then obviously just just save them to these folders SupportWorks automatically comes with a temporary um, certificate um, so it'll allow you to access um, using HTTPS, so I can show you that just now. Um, if I just go HTTPS, self service. So it's obviously, it'll prompt you with a security alert purely because um, I've not put in my own certificate in, the, in there. Uh, I'll click on yes, then it'll go to it, and there we are. It's, it's HTTPS and it's secure. Um, obviously, to go to this page without the prompt you'd need to enter in your own particular uh, certificate. Um, so yeah, that, so you can obviously replace the the names um, I've shown you in that folder, the name of that CRT file was in here. Uh, so you can simply replace these particular name files here uh, with your name of your certificate. Uh, and once you once you do that, um, all you need to do at that point is just ensure uh, that you restart the um, SWHTTP service. So I'm just going to go into services and within here is the SWHTTP server. One thing that you might want to be aware of is that um, 
during upgrades, uh, certain upgrades, I know to 7.5 anyway, um, this particular file is actually overwritten during the upgrade procedure. In the release notes it does, it does state though that you might want to uh, take a backup of this particular file before you do any kind of changes and just make sure that your changes have been moved across to the later version. So there's only one other area you might want to uh, check just to make sure that SSL is applied uh, correctly. Um, I'm just going to go into uh, after restarting the SWHTTP server service. I'm going to go into the client itself and just to make sure that um, it's prompting me again to proceed as we've uh, enabled SSL. There we go, so I'm just going to log in. And as you can see, it's similar to the actual self-service portal. Um, it's saying there's a, it's a problem with the certificate, that's purely because um, it's uh, not validated, it's a temporary one. So I'm going to click on yes to proceed. And there we go. Um, there's a couple of other, other areas in here which is actually um, that uses the S uh, SSL as well, which would be the search for request page here and also uh, reporting as well. These all use a HTTP service. Um, one last area you might want to just quickly confirm that is um, set correctly is that in the tools and options and settings there, I'll go to there again, tools then options and settings, you can see here that there's a, a connection tab and it states the HTTP port. Um, automatically this little checkbox here that says auto detect the HTTP port is checked but if it's not checked it looks like it may default to port 80 so if you make sure that is checked it will make sure that it will pick up your settings on the server that you've done. Um, so that's all, uh, any problems let me know.